Hello everybody and welcome to the video, I'm Vice Troy and today we're taking a first look at Tavern Keeper. So Tavern Keeper is a game where you get to build and manage your own tavern in a charming fantasy business sim. Dive into every detail or relax and decorate to your heart's desire. Upgrade your tavern and navigate light-hearted tales of unlikely heroes as you play the most important role of all, the Tavern Keeper. As you probably guessed, that was the uh, the description from the game. So the game is made and developed by, or developed and published even by Greenheart Games, and is due for release in Q4 this year. Uh, the demo, I believe, was released today, possibly yesterday. So today is the 3rd of August. Um, this video may go out today, or it may go out tomorrow. It depends how long it takes me to edit it, but you'll soon see. Uh, but yeah, if you want to play the game yourself, the link is down below in the description box and uh, without further ado, let's get started. Things seem to be going wrong, don't they? <laughs> Got fed by M loving this intro video. Ah, poor bunny. a pretty good intro video, what do you think? <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? Here we go, Tavern Keeper. Da -da -da -da, Viceroy. Skills. Uh, I'm gonna just leave all that at normal at the moment because I have no idea what it really does. Um, I was played, mouse clicks, sessions played two. I mean, I did load up the game to change the graphics settings, but that's about it, so... As you can see, everything else is on zero. So, let's give it a go, shall we, and see what it's all about. Demo! The narrator is looking for a main character for his tale of tavern keeping. Could you fit the part? Experience a teaser not present in the full game. Learn the ropes, run your tavern for a few days. This how... Decide how to end it all. And then that one coming in August, available to Greenheart Club members as a preview, item workshop. I like the music of this game so far. It's quite uh, jazzy. Press any key or click. Welcome to Halflington. Picturesque, eh? You must be here to audition for the protagonist role. Very well. We'll see if you're up for it. Why don't you take a look around? Okay. Camera controls. W, A, Q, E, M, M, I, zoom. I do love a tavern, don't you? So yes. cozy. Let's see if you know your way around the basics. Not to get too technical, but can you point out a table? I'll let you know if you're off track. Table. Find a table. Hey. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many main characters I lose on that one. This next one will be a bit trickier. Test Can you point out a patron. That's yes. what I call customers. Correct. Though Yay. in the future you might refrain from poking strangers. Some find it rude. That's objects and people handled. 
Shall we see if you can tell the difference between the rooms? Can you locate the storeroom? Storeroom. Um, but this looks like a storeroom. Very good. The storeroom is also a great place to hide from annoying customers. <laughs> oh dear. Is that an adventurer headed this way? Always a looks handful, like one. heroes. Why don't you see what he wants? After all, interacting with odd characters is part of the job. Just click on the fellow with the book above his head. Hero As complexity. You move to intercept the adventurer, he sweeps his sword from its sheath and slams it into the bar top, rattling the tankards and startling the other patrons. He strikes a valiant pose. Fear not, simple townsfolk. The hero has arrived. Oh dear. Oh, it, oh, it's a story type game. Okay. Excuse me, can I help you? Cut it out. Stop chopping the bar. Let's <laughs> stay professional. He frowns, giving his breastplate a polish with a bar towel. Hmm. Not much of a greeting. In stories, people usually welcome heroes with more grateful bowing. Never mind. I don't have time to educate the help. I have an epic help. journey to begin, <laughs> and those usually start with slaying beasties on behalf of some random nobody. He stares expectantly at you. It's awkward. Hello? That would be you. Do you have a quest for me or not? Uh, number one. Actually, I'll be the main character of this story. Sorry. Two. Um, how about your quest is to sit quietly over there? Um... Okay, I'm gonna go with number two. That sounds funny. Good thinking. The best tales start with heroes brooding in corners. If anyone comes in with a magic ring or a prophecy or something, send them my <laughs> way. That'll be the call to adventure. He takes a few steps away and then glances back, smiling hopefully. Actually, you haven't heard any adventurous prophecies that match my description, have you? One, I heard one about a hero destined to enjoy a quiet drink. Two, nope, I just got you. No adventures yet. Number one. <laughs> really? I don't have to do any fighting or dungeon crawling? The whole world isn't hinging on my valiant deeds? I could just hang out? He takes his hand off his sword and heaves a heavy sigh. He seems relieved. That, well... That sounds nice, actually. The whole destined hero thing was weighing on me, if I'm honest. If you need <laughs> me, I'll be trying out a cosy chair by the fire. Sounds relaxing. You hand him a tankard, and he wanders off to admire the decor, sword sheathed. Oh, book. You managed to defuse <laughs> the situation? Impressive. Yeah, we're good. I thought for sure that would be a disaster. Hmm. Let's move on. Now, I'd like to see how you handle opening a tavern yourself. Ooh. Click on the prompt to the right when you're ready. Click to move on. Well, before we move on, I just want to say, like, that narration sort of storytelling. Quite cool. I hope that comes up quite often, because that's, that's different. I guess we're going to build our own now. Welcome to the swamp. Oh. Sorry, I blew the location budget on that Halflington Tavern. I hope you like mud. Oh, mud's amazing. First things first, <laughs> it's time to teach you how to teach yourself. I see. Hovering your cursor over things like checklists can bring up helpful tool tips. Why don't you try it? I think they just copy and pasted a lot of these rather than typing them all out. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's continue the tutorial. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Phenomenal work. <laughs> we're we're not going to that again. Tool tips and thus the secret to mastering the whole game. Onwards. The whole game. The tap room is ready, but you're missing a vital piece, the tap. Hmm. You'll need one to serve drinks. Build one wherever you like. Build. Tap room. Tap. 
Ice attack. I mean, is this the tap room? Could be. No. Hey. It's that easy. <laughs> Duh. Ready to hire your first staffer? Yes. Hire huh. staff. Valarani. Their favorite quality is their, their inheritance. Thinking about orcs makes them laugh. Do you want to hire them? Sure. Yes, he is. Really? Based on those qualifications, are they a friend of yours? <laughs> Never no. mind. It's time to buy drinks. The traveling merchant Look. will be here momentarily. Click on Ooh. him when he arrives. Hello, traveling merchant. Buy from the merchant. We're going to buy. Um, scrape barrel. Blood wine. Excited Is that to tap that barrel. Select the tap you installed to assign your new beverage to it. Ah, okay. No drink selected. Select an item to serve. Blood wine. Um, have staff install the barrel. Once you have selected a drink, wait for your staff to install the barrel on the tap. Got it. Barrel stack. Is that just decor? Yeah. Is there a storeroom or something I can go in? Oh, you can assign staff a bed. Okay. That does it for basic necessities. I think you're ready to open for business. Yes. Unlock those doors. How do I do that? <laughs> oh, up there. Yay. Holy crap. <laughs> Your tavern, here in named and verified by seal, a base of beverages and dining organized and existing under the laws of regional governance and operating under the sole proprietorship of the below certified owner, is declared to be ready to open for business. Yep, yeah, when I read Nola. It's smooth sailing from <laughs> here. Wait for a patron, and your staffer will do the work. Serve your first drink. Sit back and wait for your first customer to arrive. Your staff will serve them automatically. Yeah, yeah, first customers. He's a leaf raker. Buying toilets make them worried. Often says that they got away with murder. An expert at getting in the way. <laughs> Steven, swamp mucker. Worries about saving the cat. Proud of their mysterious history. Uncertain about towers. Drink ahoy. Sell your first drink. Yay. So tap room is basically the bar area. Now, Got it. Let me show you how to make your tavern more cozy. Decorating okay. your tavern truly makes it your own. Take this table, for example. It's an empty canvas, ready to transform. You might decorate it with something simple, perhaps place a centerpiece. But why stop there? You can change and tweak <laughs> every element according to your cool. mood. Ooh. Feeling romantic? And you needn't stop at simply decorating. You can design anything you can imagine, piece by piece. Go wild! For now, let's try something simple. Select a piece from the design mode and combine it with the table. Those customization options are pretty awesome. As a tavern keeper, but let's start with three. <laughs> three. Okay. Um... That's an interesting choice. <laughs> well, there's no accounting for taste. Why That's not? That's enough decorating for now. You know, I think I've found my protagonist. The role is yours if you want it. Go on, run the tavern as you like for a few days. Perhaps you can earn your first tavern star. Read the Gazette. Place a dartboard, build a storeroom, find the hidden coin by gaining a star. Finish demo. 3.0 days remaining. No. 
Are you sure? No. Okay. Let's do this. Let's buy some... Ooh, Mudweiser. <laughs> I get that. I get the reference. Okay, where's the Gazette? Gazette. Build. Um, storeroom. Add it. Okay. Um, prop only valid in storeroom. Is this not a storeroom? Oh, it's empty. Do we, how could we make it a storeroom? Rezone. Storeroom. There we go. And then do we have to assign something reserved for... Oh, anything. Okay. So, they, oh, so, okay. So, they'll, um, move things automatically. Got it. Um, place a dartboard. Objects. Um, let's see if we can find it. Items. Carved pig. And quill. Quill. Even though it tells you it is not available in the demo, at least you can see the sort of things you can get. That's quite good. Text. Magic. And lays. Signs and art. Lights. Textiles. We already have a Balkan mat. Bearskin rug. Five gold. We currently have 173, so we're okay. It's cool, though, that when you're placing things down, you can see the areas where people, like, queue and stand around and stuff. That's quite cool. Templates. Hmm. Okay, so where is the Gazette? Read the local Gazette, a newspaper. A notification will pop up on the right-hand side during the first day. Click on it to read it. Ah, okay, cool. The Beau Chronicle. Price, a gold piece. Dark Lord steps down. A mere year after gathering a legion of the dead and conquering the realm, the Dark Lord has decided to give it all back. Ruling things is actually really boring, he admitted. Heroes who had already embarked on thrilling quests to dethro dethrone him have expressed his appointment. <laughs> Turning our adventuring gathering into an adventuring party. Local pixies delve into higher maths. Great fairy tesseracts. <laughs> Soothsayers say end times nigh. This is just a demo. <laughs> Love it. Find the hidden coin. Somewhere in this level is a single coin. Find it and click on it. Okay. Where are you, coin? Now, it shouldn't be too difficult to find, right? He said. Ah. Ah, there it is. I think. Nope. That's the merchant. We will find the coin. Probably. More than likely. Definitely more than likely by accident. In the build menu, bottom left, look for the dartboard. Build. Decorative. That wouldn't be decorative, would it? Tap room? Bulletin board. Dartboard. There we go. We want the dartboard to go. Um, I mean, that doesn't seem like the best place to put it. What about we put it over here? Yeah, that seems like a good place. There we go. Can we build another no, let's tap room, bar counter, bar counter corner. <laughs> Not all bars are created equal. Some require bendy bits. <laughs> Love it. Rotate R. Okay, so we can't put this anywhere in the corner over here. We could put one over here. Now we'll I'll leave that for now then. What does that do? What's this? Bone tool. Ah, okay. And demolish. We don't do any of that.
large brazier. A nice and safe open flame, assuming you're careful where you put down the paperwork. <laughs> so I'm thinking we see if we can put another tap down. We put it there. It doesn't really matter if it's blocked off there. And then drink. We want a Mudweiser Extreme. And there we want to put down some more pallet areas for storage. I think that would be a good idea. Yes. Most definitely a good idea. And then... Oh, the merchant's gone. Okay, we'll have to wait for the merchant to come back. Which is in two and a half days. We missed that merchant now. We have 70 uh, coins left. Now where oh where is the hidden coin? What's this? Storage overview. See everything that is in your storerooms. You can keep an eye on the demand spoilage of individual items by checking the tooltips here. The storage overview can also be used to craft items later in the game. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we got a new adventurer. You hear a dry rhythmic clatter approaching the front door of the tavern. Could it be a peddler selling kindling or a shaman's rattlestick? But when the door opens, it's a skeleton standing on the stoop. It shambles in. Its skull swivels, fixing you with a baleful, undead stare. The skeleton's jaw creaks open slowly, the ghastly voice of death spilling forth. Cheers, mate. Dreadful chilly out. You open? <laughs> um... Oh, um, is it? Yes, we're open. Not for skeletons. We don't want any trouble. Um, we were refusing to serve the skeleton would be worse. The name's Cusper. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Those skulls seem already to grin by default. Somehow the skeleton seems to smile. One off the tap, if you please. I don't drink much, but I enjoy holding the mug and sloshing it around. Find the ritual of it soothing, I suppose. Lifts the spirits, and I could use a bit of that. Something the matter? No offence, but do skeletons carry money? Hmm, let's ask, what's wrong? Oh, just having a bit of a mid-death crisis, maybe. Stuck in a rut. <laughs> mid-death crisis, okay. Cuthbert clasps it, tapping his bony fingers against the pewter mug. Truth is, me art's not in the job anymore. Been starting to wonder, did I become a dungeon henchman because it was what I wanted, or because it was expected of me? I could be missing out on a job I really love. Number one, you should change things up. What do you want to do? Number two, nothing wrong with picking the safe option. Hmm. I want a job where I can chat with people. Something like what you do. I should be hiring him. But sighs, the mournful sound coming from deep in his open ribcage in a way that makes no sense whatsoever. He brings <laughs> the mug up to his skull and taps the rim against his teeth. In the dungeon, it's always about blocking doors and doing spooky dances. Hardly anyone stops to talk before they knock my skull off with a big hammer. So why not go get a job like mine? Or number two, what if you don't like tavern work either? Hmm. Skeletons give everybody the willies. Whenever I'm out and about on errands, people run the other way. Even shopkeeps. Makes doing the groceries right difficult. Cuthbert waves his finger bones in a vaguely dismissive gesture. Who would hire an employee that makes their customers squeamish? For one, I would if they were a hard worker. Or number two, true. Better not to pursue it then. Hmm, that, that seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? Um... I would if they were a hard worker. You've talked me into it. I'm headed down to that dungeon right now and turning in me rusty old sword and shield. The afterlife is too short to waste. Cuthbert slaps a palm against the counter. It makes a sound like a bowl of rocks being thrown at a wall. You're a good sword. <laughs> you know what? Next time you see me, I'll have an application for you. Boss... 
He gives a jerky nod and saunters away, whistling liplessly to himself through some mechanism you don't understand. <laughs> I think we handled that quite well. May potentially have a skeleton bartender soon. Barkeep. Yeah, I feel like maybe we should employ another staff member though to serve. So we got Bullfrim. Their greatest hobby is fighting oozes. Spends their spare time avoiding doing work. <laughs> Excels at distributing tips. Um, what else we got? Diana. Fired from the lost cow for impersonating the elderly. <laughs> Lauded at the singing king for sharing tips with the needy. Hates drippy candles. Uh, why not? You're hired. Is that a coin? Yeah, I found it. I knew I'd have found it by accident. <laughs> I bet that nice skeleton is looking for a new job by now. You should check the new applicants. Maybe he'd like to work here. Ah, okay. Let's, let's hire the skeleton then. There he is, Cuthbert. Previously worked in a dungeon guarding doors. Always smiling. Enthusiastic dogs make him nervous. <laughs> Unique staff. Well, we gotta hire him, haven't we? As a skeleton, some patrons might find Cuthbert a little frightening. Also, he hardly sleeps. But no one's perfect. <laughs> In fact, when he was alive, he... <laughs> Never mind. Let's save that story for the full game. Carry on. Tavern menu. Add or remove drink, food, and goods from your tavern's offerings. Adjust prices to steer patron interest and satisfaction. Okay, so we got Mudweiser Extreme and blood wine. To add drinks to the tab menu, purchase a barrel and load it into one of your taps. Okay, I feel like they're probably decent prices. I don't think we can serve food yet. Uh, food isn't an option yet. Do need the uh the merchant to come back though. Reputation 79%. Current rating one star. Drink 94%. Current rating one star. But how long does the barrel last, I wonder? That's cool, little icon okay. thing. Alright, okay, you can see how full it is. So that's about three quarters empty. And that is three quarters full. That's cool though. Now, bulletin board, where patrons can share job postings, items for sale, and rambling secrets. We already have a bulletin board. Set price to, ah, so we charge patrons for posting things on the bulletin board. Right. Hot belly stove, a source of heat with a portly, approachable aspect. Can we buy it? No, we need two uh, two star uh, tavern to buy that. Okay, already have one of them. Or can we? I oh, don't. No, maybe we can buy it. Okay. Um, let's put that here. Asks Diana, maintaining pot belly stove. Seems we're in for a rainy night. Oh, rainy night! Looks like I put that down at the right time. Oh, listen to that rain. Loves a rich family. <laughs> Options. Deco should block. Okay, well, the deco can be placed down. What do we got? Antique carpet for the wall. Hellos. This is the staff room, but we've not got any more beds for the staff yet, have we? We need to do that. Staff room. Bed. Yeah, go in front of the bed. Because we have... Well, I was saying that a skeleton doesn't sleep, does he? So, so assign staff. Yo. 
you go. You both have beds now. We can relax. And we don't have a lot of money left. The Rotten Stump is the name of the tavern. <laughs> nice. No more patrons about at the moment. Actors. Emails, food, icons. Round basket. To make the uh, table a bit nicer. Got rats. <laughs> we are in the red. Better watch our finances or we'll go bust. Patron satisfaction. Use the patron satisfaction scroll to see how satisfied past patrons were. Your approval rating is determined by the average of these satisfaction ratings. It's important for gaining tavern stars. 82% seems decent. Cleanliness was good. Well, atmosphere and cleanliness was good. 99%. 74% drink satisfaction. 82% overall satisfaction. 61% uh, service. Ah, and 47% facilities. We're lacking facilities. Does that mean they, we need more tables or something? You have floor mat? Outdoors. Outhouse. Now, we don't have enough money for an outhouse at the moment, but I think that'd be a good idea to buy when we got the money. Yeah. Since we're at minus 23 at the moment. All right, let's get some sales on. Did we hire too many staff members too soon? You fire someone. Going to bed. You go in the bar. Pick out. Fire the staff member effective immediately. It <laughs> seems harsh. And from rooms. This button allows you to select which rooms this staff shouldn't be in. Come on, patrons. Where are you? It's morning. Yay. Oh, wait. No, don't have any money to buy more drinks. Please stay a little bit longer so we can uh, buy some stuff. No. We need some patrons in before the motion disappears. Go and buy many, many drinks. A one star rating. Yay. Already. You're a natural. Click on the message. <laughs> I love the humor in this game. On the right to claim it. Look, a star. Gain your first tavern star. Hey, we're up to 45 now. Let's buy some stock. Fun. Makes you want another one, doesn't it? What's this? You gained a star. You clearly have, have what it takes to be a successful tavern keeper. In the full game, earning your first star will unlock new room types such as the kitchen, new challenges, and advance the campaign. But alas, this is just a small teaser. Here, take 100 gold and a few new furniture options. Decorate, soak in the ambience, and see who comes through your doors. When, you're, when you've had enough, click on Finish Demo to make one final decision. Enjoy the dev team. Nice. Well, things are getting busier, yeah? so seven new unlocks. What do we got? Comfy chair. Nice. Storage shelf. Dead tree shelves. Crocodile skin mat. Lantern. Oh, that should be good. Work schedule. Handy. Locker. And collect. Guessing that means I collect Nora as in like them collect as in <laughs> collect the uh, the add-ons. We can afford the outhouse now. But where can we put it? Where can this go? Ah, over here. Yeah, oh I see it. You can see the green area, okay. So we can go anywhere in this green area. So let's put it 
Um, what a day. We don't want it right next to uh, the entrance and exit, do we? That's running a bit low. That's running a bit low, but we have plenty of stuff in stock now. Hope that one's empty. Select drink. Um, Druid's foot. Because that sounds appealing. <laughs> Very appetizing, doesn't it? Some of our props require a tent. Oh, we already dealt with that one. Low stock. We're running low on some of our stock. Blood wine. Patrons left early. One patron left the tavern early in the last two hours because they couldn't find space to do the follow. Right, okay, so we need to... We move that. No. Oh, wait. Options. Okay, so tap room. Small table. We need to find somewhere else for a table. Can we put this there? And if we put it there in the corner... Oh, nobody can access that. Okay. That looks alright, though. Just means that some people can't use the one side, but that's fine. And... Another one in this corner, maybe, can we? Like, one person could use it if we put it there. Oh, it wouldn't ask anyway. There's another table down for now. I'll do right. There we go, another table. I'm assuming only two people can sit at the table at once. Oh, it's telling me the table's in use, so it might be able to sort of drag. Oh. Select drink. Um, dog's bitter. Again, very appetizing. Uh, marketing events. New business. You've just opened your tavern and have thus increased interest from potential patrons. No barrels installed in this tab. We dealt with that one. That was real okay. Okay, so what else can we have? I mean, we've already got that. Comfy chair. Robust enough for an orc, soft enough for an elf. Big enough for the two to cuddle. <laughs> Love it. So if we put that maybe in the corner here? Oh, it's because the sign's in the way, isn't it? And what if we put it over... Nope. Uh, people have flying darts over their head. Not a good idea. Um, there seems like a good idea. And maybe... You want to sit in the corner here. A nice lantern. Build. Lantern. Oh, we don't have enough money. We're overspending. So you had a drink. Does not wait around. Dirty feet. Oh, lovely. So each of your patron has traits. Energy. Patience. Okay. Service, atmosphere, and detail. It's a lovely atmosphere in our little pub. Or little tavern, should I say. Seventy-nine percent approval. We got a bit better on facilities, but still not quite there. And service. Can we afford anything decor wise? Yes we can. We got a storage shelf. One of those up over there. And maybe there. Um they take up a lot of room. We already have one of those. Foundation. We can build walls or doors. Outdoors. Got another welcome mat we could put down. So we could put that down. Um How do we go back? I can't afford it, that's why. I think our little tavern's doing okay. I do like the graphic style on this as well. Does the job. And it's pleasant to look at. Atmosphere overlays. Ah, okay. It was filthy around the bar area. 
noisy around the skeleton. <laughs> Eco's looking okay, though. Damage. Damage is decent. Flammability. <laughs> well, around the fire is probably a good one. Brightness. Okay. And temperature. So it's freezing cold in the storeroom and cold in this corner here. I don't know what we could do about that. What if we put a... a there's a... I know a lantern is lighting, but does it put up a small amount of heat? Or this one, maybe? This in the corner? Does that affect the heat at all? No, still cold. Do we need another one of those? Hot belly stove. Algram beggar. Their hobby is braiding beards. Friends admire their vice like grip. H shackles. Just like that, it's nighttime. We have 1.6 days remaining of the demo. We may as well play to the end, right? Skip to the morning. Got no customers right now. Skeleton can, uh, sorry, Cuthbert. Unskilled worker. Cheap, easy to please, but not the most reliable. As an unskilled worker, Cuthbert often takes erratic small breaks and might be late to work sometime. <laughs> Does not like when it's too dirty. Wants a quiet place to sleep. Happy to share a room with no more than four others. Does not like to work more than 20 hours per day. So four others is good. And four others? Okay, so that's fine. What's Cuthbert eating? How can he eat his skeleton? Looks like we made a profit yesterday. Yay! Oh, Bio Chronicle. Wizard's College in hot water. The Wizard's College seeks to overturn the Educators Guild decision to strip them of their accreditation. When approached for comment, the Educators Guild representative responded, Sure, their graduates can lodge a sword and a stone, but they don't know their basic maths. <laughs> it's morning. What's wrong? No staff to handle job. Our tavern is open, but we don't seem to have any staff working in the server role at the moment. Storybook. Ooh. I presume you're the employer of this establishment? I represent a service that matches employers with desperate job seekers they can exploit. The tiny woman peers up at you through thick lensed glasses, smiling brightly. Mind if I drop off some information? They'll work cheaper than your current staffers, I can promise you that. They're desperate for employment. You'll barely have to treat them like people. Glancing around, you notice one of your staffers listening in with a disquieted frown. Hmm. Sure, thank you. It's good to have options. Or, ah, no, sorry, I'm happy with my staff. Ah. We're not going to exploit workers. She shrugs. Suit yourself. Not every business owner has the killer instinct required to thrive in the capitalist Ouch. feeding frenzy. But I wish you the best of luck. Don't get eaten. Waving cheerfully, she tucks away her literature and leaves you be. You glance at your staffer, they give you a thumbs up. Still, you get the sense the two of you are fish in the presence of a shark. <laughs> the plot thickens. Janet, temp agency representative, has never tried learning about handshakes, often says that they always take responsibility. They enjoy trying to live a quiet life. Yeah, let's fast forward to our first couple of customers. There we go. We got more tables and some chairs people can sit in. 64% reputation for services. 76 for drink. It seems we have three servers. It makes sense to get rid of one of these, right? And replace it with another tap. Oh, it's cost 60. Take a couple more sales. There we go. 
Scrap barrel, and in this one we're gonna go with Druid's foot. And we can serve three people at a time. Yay for multitasking. <laughs> I think we're gonna be on the app. You left for uh, oh, weak bladder. Ah, but we have an outhouse. We have an outhouse. Oh, eh? Outhouse. We need to buy more than one, I wonder. Oh, hang on. What's this? Low approval. Patrons rate our facilities quite low. Perhaps we should look into that. But why? We got a nice fire, we got a nice lighting. Oh, you've run out of stuff. <laughs> oh, oops. Guess we didn't need that final one after all. Where are facilities low, though? Um, decoration? We need more decoration. Is that what's wrong? Um, signs and art. Can we use any of these? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Decorative. Okay. They can't go anywhere. Storage shelf. Uh, crocodile mat. There we go. That should help, right? So that, the barrels count as decoration, but a small amount of decoration, okay. Worries about fulfilling prophecies. Insists that they were raised by werewolves. Loves needles. <laughs> okay, when's the next merchant due? Oh. Past the point the demo finishes. Come to sell what we got. Hmm. Running low on druids foot. Some of our props require attention. Yep, we got nothing to serve there, unfortunately. We've almost run out of beer. That was a bit of an oversight, wasn't it? Yeah, boss, I think we've got some new applicants. We don't need any. We don't have anything to sell. <laughs> He's picking his nose. And yeah, we don't need any, unfortunately. Oh, we're shortly going to run out of beer. Our last day is going to be a poor sales day for sure. <laughs> Storybook. You have wines we could buy and stuff. Bad weather on the way. Feel it in my bad leg. Right here in the joint. Ever since that goblin injured it. The old-timer leans heavily on the back of a chair and rubs his knobby knee, grimacing out the window at the mild day outside. Sure, he apologized right there on the dance floor for dropping me mid-twirl. Even bought me a candy apple after. Sweet fella. Still, legs never been the same since. You feel that in the air, young'un? That's the storm. Feels like rain? Oh, seems dry to me. A heat wave? Um, feels like rain. So you can feel it too, eh? Right you are. That rain's coming down before the day is out. Sure as shuffling. We literally get to choose the he weather. Sniffs, massaging his knee. Ah, well, nothing wrong with a bit of rain. Good for remembering. Rain's good for remembering. Well, secret merchant visit. Have an open soon. Oh, there's the rain. Just as promised. Hey! Today will be a good day after all. Let's buy lots of beer. Just drink it. That's as much as we can purchase. We're going to purchase it all. <laughs> Today is going to be a good day. Blood wine. 
rain. When it rains, patrons will get wet and might want a place to dry themselves. They will also track mud into your tavern. It might be tempting not to let patrons in when it rains, but this is widely considered a poor business practice. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so too. But we have our welcome mat there. We fought another welcome mat for the other side. I'm saying that people don't come in that side anyway, do they? Um, let's have a look. Tap room. Hot belly stove. Let's put it... Where can we put it? Can we put it there? We can. Now that should make a nice bit of heat in temperature. Why is it... Is blue good then? Does blue mean heat? I think blue may mean heat. Ah, so you can click and drag. That's good to know. So we'll put a stove there. And then go back to temperature. So let's see when it's lit. If they light it. It's a shame we can't keep on playing forever. Oh, but didn't get to see. Just a demo. How should we end things? How should we end things? I'll leave it up to you. Here, a nice shiny button. Blow up the tavern or wait for the demo to Press end. It to end things with a bang, or let the timer run out and leave your tavern to putter along after you go. Ooh, well. It certainly is a tempting button, no? The suspense is simply dreadful. <laughs> Why not? Are you sure? Ah, the poor people. <laughs> I see that for you, the joy of creation has a darker twin. The thrill of destruction. I feel like that was a bad choice. <laughs> oh no. Don't use it against me. It's not something I'd normally do. Well, there you go, folks. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy uh, the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you uh, are not yet already doing so, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the game and if you will be adding it to your wish list or even trying the demo for yourself. And uh, why not check out my Dustland Delivery series? Uh, there should be a link up in the corner of the screen now. And until next time, folks, bye for now.